Hey what's going on everyone this is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 12 iPhone settings that every iPhone user should turn off and of course alongside them the reason to why you should turn off those settings on your iPhone right now. The first setting you should turn off is found under the Safari settings. So you go to the Safari settings and you scroll down here and go to location. Now right here you can give access to websites to your location but of course you don't want to do that. Now if you have the settings set at allow then this will allow any any website that you visit on Safari to have access to your current location. Of course, that should never be done. Go ahead and just switch to ask. Now, every time location services is required by any website that you visit, it will ask you whether that website can use your location or not. Now, if you put it on deny, that will completely turn off location services for all websites. But of course, sometimes you might need it on any trusted website. You can just go ahead and have Safari ask you for permission. Then of course, give permission to access your location on that website. The second setting is also found under the Safari settings. Now this is not like a setting that you have a switch to turn off, but I suggest you go ahead and take a look at it. So you go to Safari and scroll all the way down here to advanced and then here we'll have website data. Now what you can find here is a list of all the websites and the data that they have stored on your device. So you can see right here I do a regular cleanup on my device, I regularly clean up the history on Safari, the data and all that and I still here have 340 megabytes. If you don't like clean the data on your device probably will have way more here so what you can do here is just remove all the website data now this is like cookies and all the data that websites store of course you can go ahead and remove them here or you can just tap the edit button and remove them one by one now you can also show more websites so there are just like 10 i believe here that are taking more space if you just click here you will see a ton more that take less space and of course you can basically clean all them simply by tapping here and of course you will always have the option here from the front page to clear all the history or data of the websites. The next setting you should turn off is found under the notes settings. So you go to notes and right here we'll find an option that says saved photos. Now what this does is that all the media that you have on your notes, maybe scans or stuff like that, will also be saved to the photos app. So if you have this enabled, it will basically just take up space on your device. Maybe you just scan the document and you will have it saved on notes as well as on photos. So you, of course you don't need two of them. Of course they just taking like space on your device that you might need for other stuff so make sure you go ahead and turn this off right here next up is a setting found under the music settings it is right here download so when you go to the settings of music you just scroll down to downloads here and you will find your downloaded music and right here we'll see a button that says automatic downloads now if you have this enabled anytime you purchase a song on itunes on basically on Apple Music, it will just go ahead and download it automatically on your device. So it will just store it on your device and will take up a ton of space there. So what I suggest you do is go ahead and turn this off. Of course, if you use Apple Music and you have data all the time, you don't need these songs to be stored locally on your iPhone and take up a ton of space. The same thing has to be done for the podcast setting. This is the next setting we're talking about. You go to podcast and you will have here a section that says download episodes. Now right here, you will find the option to basically go ahead and enable download, automatic download for all the new episodes or all unplayed episodes. What it does is just download automatically all podcast episodes to your device and that will take a ton of space. These of course, these podcasts will be hours long, so that will take a ton of space. So what I suggest you do is go ahead and turn this off in order not for the podcast to be downloaded and stored on your device locally. The next setting you should turn off is found under Face ID and Passcode. And this is really important. You go ahead and scroll down here and you will find a list of things that can be accessible from the lock screen even though the device is locked. And two of them are really important. Reply with iMessage and also return missed calls. So basically someone gets your device, they will be able to reply to a message that you get even though the device is locked. Of course, that might be a very important conversation and someone can just send any text they want. So of course you want to turn this off and also return missed calls right here. It will be better for your privacy. So make sure you go ahead and check this list. There are also other things that you might want to turn off from here. The next setting is found under Siri and search. So you go to Siri and search and right here we'll find 
announce messages with Siri. So anytime you have your AirPods on or stuff like that, it will basically Siri just will announce the message that you get. And one setting that you should turn off is right here, reply without a confirmation. So if you're replying to someone, of course you wanna make sure that you have written, basically you have dictated the right reply to Siri. So you wanna have Siri read it back to you before they send it to someone. So go ahead and turn this off and then Siri, of course, will read the message first to you and then will send it to the contact that you want. Under Siri and search, you can also find here Siri responses. Now this is really interesting. So when using Siri, Siri sometimes will just speak out loud even though you might have your device on mute. So right here you will find basically your options. So you will have always, so always Siri will, this is the default, it will always speak out loud. But what I suggest you do is go ahead and use this one only with Hey Siri. So basically, when you don't want Siri to go off with a loud sound, you go ahead and turn it on like using the button right here on the side. You want it to have a reply basically with a loud, loud speaker. You go ahead and say Hey Siri and then of course it will speak the reply to you. So that's much, much convenient than having Siri basically telling you something out loud, maybe on an environment that you don't want to do that. The next setting is found under accessibility. So you go to accessibility and find Siri right here and you will find a button that says always listen for Hey Siri. Now what this does is that it will basically have Siri listening all the time. Even though your device might be laying face down or anywhere, it will always be listening for Hey Siri. That will not just basically turn on Siri without needing many times, but it will of course consume a ton of battery as it's always staying ready in the background and waiting for your command. So go ahead and turn this off. Another setting that I always suggest people to turn off is found under display and brightness and it is rise to wake. Now this is basically useless but it will just consume a ton of battery on your device so when you basically pick up your phone or take it out of your pocket it will automatically turn on the screen of your device maybe that's cool and all that but it consumes a ton of battery so make sure you go ahead and turn this off again this can be found under the display and brightness settings you will have it right here the next setting you should turn off is found under the cellular settings so you go to cellular and you scroll all the way down here until you find iCloud Drive. Make sure you have this always disabled. If you have this enabled and you have a limited data plan, then this will be very, very bad for you. It will just use your data to transfer files to iCloud files and data when you're not connected to Wi-Fi. If you turn this off, it will be much better. The files will be transferred only when you're connected to the Wi-Fi network. Of course, if you have an unlimited data plan, you can always turn this on, but if you have a limited data plan, make sure you have this turned off. And last but not least is another setting that is found right here under the cellular section. It is called Wi-Fi Assist. Now what this does is that it automatically switches to your cellular data when you have a poor connectivity to your Wi-Fi network. So you will basically not even notice when it's switched to the cellular data and it will consume a ton of them of course if you're like watching YouTube or something like that. So what you want to do is go ahead and turn this off and of course you can turn cellular data on manually when you need it. Of course this is always when you have a limited data plan because if you have unlimited data plan you can go ahead and turn this on and of course that will be good but if your data is limited then make sure you have this turned off in order for you to save your data and not just spend them without even knowing that you're connected to your cellular data so that is it for this video guys these are 12 settings that every iphone user should turn off right now on their device i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you found it helpful go ahead leave a like if you did also don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i will see you guys on the next one